Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I would like to revise my Blue Hive composition. For this you are going to need the Diamond Mask and you are going to need the Supreme Star Amulet with Pop Star. Now let's talk about bees. You are going to need a gifted basic bee as it will give you times 1.2 extra pollen which is going to be very useful in the long run. Gifted bomber bee you do not need as it is just 15% bomb pollen which is actually bad for a blue hive as your blue bombs will fill your bag too quickly and you will not be able to get as many bubbles and it will hinder your hive a bit and you will not be making nearly as much honey as you could be. Gifted Brave Bee is now virtually completely useless because on it nerfed Starsaw and it's it just doesn't really help. You are going to need a Gifted Bumblebee as it gives you 25% blue pollen, which as I said, you know what I said about the, the Bomber Bee, it fills your bag too quickly, but you're going to want this because it's not too much extra bomb pollen. So, because you want at least a little bit of bomb pollen because you're not gonna, you're not gonna be making too much and it's not gonna fill your bag too quickly and you're still gonna make quite a bit of honey. So, so be sure to keep a gifted bumblebee. Gifted cool bee you're going to want as it will give you 10% blue pollen which is very useful for a blue hive. You do not need a gifted hasty bee as you will be getting most of your haste from your ninja bees. Gifted looker bee you're going to want that as it is 50% extra critical power which will help the criticals you get with your bubbles. You do not need gifted rad bee and you do not need a gifted rascal bee as they are both red bees and just buff red red pollen and red bomb pollen. Gifted stubborn bee you are going to need if you cannot get all the tokens in time before they disappear. So be sure to have a gifted stubborn bee. It really depends on if you can or if you can't get all the tokens in time. Gifted bubble bee. Now here in the last tutorial, I got this wrong. You actually need three to five gifted bubble bees as they not only summon bubbles, but they also drop blue bombs, which will also help you activate a lot more pop stars. You are going to need only one gifted bucko bee. You do need a gifted commander bee because it is 5% critical chance which every hive needs this because critical chance is very useful you do not need a gifted demo bee gifted demo bee is just like the bomber bee and it will fill your capacity a little too quickly which is not a good thing you do not need gifted exhausted bee as it is just buzz bomb pollen and you will not be getting really any buzz bombs and it's just it's just a waste of a whole entire hive slot so do not get a gifted exhausted bee you do not need a gifted fire bee as it is just extra pollen from flames which you will not be getting because well duh you're a blue hive you don't have anything that summons flames just bubbles. Gifted Frosty Bee, you're going to want one of these as it gives you 25% blue bomb pollen, which just like the Bumblebee will not fill your capacity too much, but still get you a decent amount of honey from your bomb pollen or bomb tokens. Sorry. Gifted Honey Bee, this really depends. If you're running a blue hive with a uh, gummy star and pop star, then go ahead and get a gifted honey bee. If you are not, get rid of the gifted honey bee. But remember, that's only if you have gum and star and the uh, pop star, then get a gifted honey bee. You do not need a gifted rage as just like I said with Brave on it nerfed Starsaw, making it virtually useless. You do not need a gifted Riley Bee as it is just 10% extra red pollen, which is not good because you're going to be building bloat inside of the strawberry field, which I talk about why in this video. So go ahead, click the top right hand corner. That little card will take you to the video I explain as about like the strawberry field and building up bloat. So uh, yeah. Next we have Shocked Bee. You do not need a gifted Shocked Bee as gifted Shocked Bee will give you 25% extra white pollen, which is going to be actually bad because your capacity will fill too quickly. And also, you're not going to be getting much white pollen anyways, so do not get a gifted shock bee. It is a waste of a hive slot. Gifted baby bee, you're going to want this for the extra 25% loot luck and also the extra baby love. You do not need gifted carpenter bee. I know it might be surprising because that 25% pollen from tools does seem kind of appealing, but you do not actually need this. It is better to replace it with a gifted tadpole or gifted bubble bee, or just a non-gifted tadpole works as well. You do not need demon bee as it is just more red bomb pollen. You do not actually need the gifted diamond bee as gifted diamond bee is only a hundred percent convert rate, which is useless as your bubble bloat will be already converting a ton. So uh, yeah, you do not need gifted diamond bee. Gifted lion bee, you do not need. You do not need any lion bees as all, or as all. Wait, sorry, no, at all. Sorry, my goodness. You need three gifted music bees as every hive needs three gifted music bees because it gives you three essential tokens, melody, focus, and token link. So be sure to have have three gifted music bees. Now, ninja bees. This is something I got wrong in the last blue hive tutorial. As I said, you needed nine, but you actually 
actually only need three to five because it will keep your haste up still and it will still give you a sufficient amount of blue bomb tokens because your gifted bubble bees will also be giving you blue bombs and bubbles so it's better to have three to five ninja bees and three to five gifted bubble bees your haste will stay up and you will be getting a ton of blue bombs anyways shy bee you do not need a shy bee as it is just extra red pollen which is useless in a blue hive fuzzy bee you are going to need three gifted fuzzy bees they do not all have to be gifted just make sure at least one of them is gifted for the extra bomb pollen i know what i said about the bomber bee and the demo bee but it's just as i said with the bumble and the frosty bee it is a little bit of extra bomb pollen which will be pretty useful nonetheless also it has the ability pollination or no sorry pollen haze also it has fuzzy coat which both of those abilities summon pollinate or trigger pollination not really summon but it pollinates the flowers giving you more pollen and more honey so have three gifted fuzzy bees they don't all have to be gifted only one needs to you do not need spicy bee by the way spicy bee is completely useless in a blue hive now tadpole bees this is the difficult and tricky and very confusing part that i got wrong on my last tutorial you actually need 12 plus tadpole bees to be getting a ton of honey i recommend 14 14 tadpole bees is the most ideal number of tadpoles for a blue hive as any more than 14 or no any more than 15 sorry but the ideal is 14 15 is a bit pushy so uh yeah 14 gifted tadpole bees not all gifted sorry i keep saying oh my goodness because i say you need every other bee gifted because you kind of do except for a few but uh yeah it's sorry it's just a little confusing guys but anyways 14 tadpole bees not all of them need to be gifted only one needs to be gifted because the summon frog ability will be building up your pop stars a lot more and you will be getting more bubble bloat and you will be getting higher pop star auras per bubble star bubble star what the heck no pop star so uh yeah 14 tadpole bees is ideal you only need one to two vector bees as triangulate on its own is pretty useful so one to two vector bees i'd say one vector bee is best so be sure to only have one vector bee bear bee you need that gifted cobalt bee make sure it is gifted as it will give you 10 percent instant blue conversion which will be very useful crimson bee most people say that you don't and this is this is a huge debate do you need crimson or not in a blue hive i personally run with an extra gifted crimson bee because of that 10 percent instant red conversion helps when i'm building bloat inside of the strawberry field because i fill too quickly most of the time so i keep this so i fill less quickly so uh yeah i'd say i keep gifted crimson bee because it also gives you red pulse uh which will also summon blue pulse if you already have crimson and the cobalt bee which i'd assume you would at this point in the game you do indeed need a gifted festive bee as gifted festive bee will give you festive gifts but the gifted part of it will also give you festive cheer which increases the speed of your bees and also it increases pollen so be sure to have a gifted festive bee it doesn't need to be gifted but just make sure you have a festive bee overall because the festive blessing which is different from festive cheer actually gives you 100 instant conversion for about 15 seconds which is really good so be sure to have a festive bee gummy bee every hive needs a gummy bee i mean it's gummy bee it's extra gum gum wait sorry extra goo sorry and also that 5% honey per pollen is very useful. You are going to want a gifted photon bee as well for that 5% instant conversion. Gifted puppy bee. I'd say keep a gifted puppy bee if it's gifted. Only if it's gifted you can keep it. Because of that extra 20% bond from treats, I am working towards gifting my puppy bee right now. Or no, actually, I'm just gonna fast track to gummy boots. Forget the gifted puppy bee. I don't need it. But uh, yeah, keep gifted puppy bee keep gifted puppy bee tabby bee you're gonna want this gifted as it is 50 percent extra critical power and tabby bee overall is just a really overpowered bee due to its baby love or not baby love sorry tabby love vicious bee you're gonna want this for that extra blue bombs and also impale windy bee you're gonna want windy bee because well every hive needs a windy bee 15 percent instant white conversion two times boost from clouds and especially that tornado tornado what okay but yeah keep a gifted windy bee and uh yeah that's about it for blue hives guys this is my blue hive revised tutorial or no is it a composition or a tutorial i guess it's both so anyways i hope you all did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next roblox bee swarm simulator video or any other video i publish we do have the team tadpole merch in our roblox group store i will leave a link to both the shirt and the pants the set at the moment is currently five robux so i'd say get the shirt and the pants they are both five robux on sale at the moment normally they are 10 robux but at the moment they're on five so go 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 ahead get those they're on sale and uh yeah goodbye